We just came to a gap. Check out these trees. They're just covered. Really beautiful. Very viney. I feel like we're in the secret garden. I don't know if any of you have seen the secret garden 90s movie. Made it to the summit of Bald Knob. This was a toughie. Maybe as tough, if not tougher, than that mountain yesterday. It's a devious mountain. It was it devious. Many oh. false peaks. Yeah, a lot of false peaks. Hi guys. Hi. We are here at Bald Knob. Bald Knob. It's day 78, mile 8. 10 ish and it's June 9th I'm Friday just, Friday Friday June 9th and we just want to talk to you about our plans for the next few days so today we're gonna to do 17 miles to a tent site and then tomorrow we'll do a few miles into Montebello camp and fishing store which is about half mile off the trail there we'll do a two and a half day resupply at the store and we'll head back out from there after that, we'll do two 17-ish mile days, and then the following day, we'll get to Rockfish Gap. Rockfish Gap, and that's at mile 861. 861. And then we'll go to um, the Colony House Motel. Right, we'll stay at the Colony House Motel. That's also a half mile off the trail. There, we'll do we'll pick up a mail drop for I I want to say four days into the Shenandoahs. Four or five, yeah. Four or five days into the Shenandoahs. And Colony House Motel is right at the entrance of the Shenandoahs, so it'll be perfect. We can stay there, get up, and get into the Shenandoahs early. And that's really pretty much the plan, right? So far? Yeah, and um, there's like a small gourmet popcorn restaurant, which we're going to check out. Oh, right, okay. Fish Gap. Right, so we have, we have some decisions to make. <laughs> Rockfish Gap is a real small little area, and the only thing that there is to eat is the is the uh, gourmet popcorn stand, which has a couple things. A stand, it's a restaurant. Oh, okay, or a, something. A, a small restaurant. They have like hot dogs and popcorn and stuff like that. Uh, we've heard it's all that area. Rockfish Gap is close to Waynesboro, which has restaurants and we've heard a really good Chinese buffet but that would require which us we're really craving yeah which we're really the one in Perisburg <laughs> destroyed our hopes yeah it was not yeah, good you know. so we're we are looking for a nice Chinese buffet that's really fulfilling and satisfying and you know all that uh, <laughs> but that would require us to get a shuttle or a hitch into Waynesboro it would take a lot of time possibly money and we're really our goal is to stay as close to the trail as possible and that's why we're picking these like little towns and little camp stores and I guess uh, it's been it, there are pros and cons to that I mean the pros are we're staying close we're using less time and and less resources to get to and from larger towns but the cons are in larger towns there's more uh, like more options to get food whether it be restaurants or resupply options um, and with more of a variety of food in those bigger towns and they're also more famous like there's things in the towns that we might be missing but our plan you know as our hike that we <coughs> wanted to do was to stay as close to the trail as possible and so we've picked places that are really close like within a mile of the trail yeah yeah I mean it's pretty much it's working yeah but sometimes when you talk to hikers and they say 
oh, this was amazing. We had all this. You, you feel like you're missing out a bit. Yeah. But I mean, what else? What what else did we miss? We, um, I mean, we missed what Gatlinburg and yeah. A lot of hikers went there, but a lot of people skipped it as well. Yeah. Um, I mean, there were a few others. Glasgow, we just skipped. And there was a good hostel we heard. Yeah, a really nice hostel. Nice Mexican restaurant. But... And we skipped a few other towns that people, you know, said were really nice and they, you know, had good options and stuff like that. But we're going like to have gourmet popcorn. We're, we're going to check out that gourmet popcorn and stand. And we'll let you know how it is. All right, guys. See we, ya. We have to hike on lunch in about three miles. See Bye, ya. Granddad. <laughs> Hey guys, made it up another hill slash mountain. We're in a meadow. We've got some really nice views. It's been another tough day, hard climbs, hot, and, but we've been getting through it by singing hiking specific pop songs. And it's kind of helping this hard day, really. So maybe we'll record some later. Maybe. Hey guys, it's dusk and we're on our way to the next shelter. What's the shelter called? Sealy Woodworth. Oh right, Sealy Woodworth. We like to call it Sealy Booth, like Sealy Booth from Bones. Anyway. Uh, it's, the sun is setting and it's really beautiful, all these ferns, just can't get enough of it, thought you guys might want to see. <laughs> 